Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve part four. Question number first. Again, you have to solve this pair of equation for by reducing it into pair of linear equation. For that, you have to change this variable which is in the denominator to the numerator. For that, suppose one upon x as any variable u, and this is. Already in the numerator, so there is no need to change this one. So our new equation will become this is 4u plus 3y equals to 14. This is our first equation, and the second equation will become 3u minus 4y equals to 23. This is our second equation. Now, if you want to solve this uh, in this question, I am using the cross multiplication method. For that, you have to write u equals to y equals to 1. And for that, first of all, shift this constant to the left hand side so that our linear equation become in standard form. So, this shifted to this side will become minus 14. So, this will be 3u minus 4y minus 23 equals to 0. So this will be our standard equation and when we are using cross multiplication method we will solve by or you can say solve using the standard equation. If you want to write for u, you have to ignore the u and you, you have to write the other constants which are 3 and minus 4 and other constants are minus 14 and minus 23. And for y, you have to ignore the value of y and you have to write the other two constant. And this will be a cycle, uh, this will be cyclic. Means when you are ignoring y, you have to write first of all these two minus 14, minus 23, and after that you have to write 4 and 3. And after that you are writing for the constant, you have to ignore the constant, and you have to write the other. So 4 and 3. And after that, 3 and 4. Minus 4. Or you can say that when you are writing for u, you have written this, this constraint, and after that, this constraint. And for y, you have to write this as it is and the remaining one. And for constraint, you have to write this and the remaining one. Now you have to solve it. Uh, for u, you have to cross multiply it. So 23 multiplied by 3 is 3, 3, 9, 3, 2 is a 6 with negative sign and minus 4 into 14 is 4 into 4 is 6, 4 into 1 is 5 and 1 carry 5 and minus minus will be plus but these two values are subtracted so there will be a negative sign for that subtraction. Similarly for y, you have to cross multiply it. So 14 into 3 is 42, the negative sign and you have to subtract the other value which is 23 into 4. So 23 into 4 is basically 4 3 is a 12, carry 1, 4 2 is a 8, this is 92 with negative sign because 23 is carrying negative sign. And for the constant term again you have to multiply 4 into 4 is 16 and 3 into 3 is 9. Solving this, the value of u will become minus minus will be plus. So 56 plus 69 is basically equals to 9 plus 6 is 15. Carry 1. 6 plus 5 is 11. And carry 1. This is 125 with negative sign. Similarly, the value of y will be equals to this minus this minus will be plus. And plus minus will be minus. So 42 is subtracted from 92. So 2 minus 2 is 0. 9 minus 4 is 5. This is 50. And the value of 1 will be equals to minus 16 and minus 9 is basically equals to 25 with negative sign. Now we know that these all equations are equal. So we can equate this value with this value because this is equal to this. So value of u 
upon minus 125 will be equals to 1 upon minus 25. You can cross multiply. So the value of u will become minus 125 upon minus 25. This can be cancelled out, and this will be equals to 5 times. So the value of u is here is 5. So this is value of 5. So 1 upon x is equals to 5. So the value of 5 will be 1 upon Value of x will be one upon five. And after that, you have to find the value of y. For that, equate this value with this value. So this will be y upon fifty will be equals to one upon minus twenty five. Now again, you can cross multiply it. So the value of y will become. I'm writing it here. This will be fifty minus twenty five. So this can be cancelled as. Minus two. So the value of y for this linear equation must be equal to minus two. So this is how you can solve this question. Thank you.